Hi everyone, my name is Abel Greek and Toma from Greatest Design Consult. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or you can call me on any of these numbers, okay? Today I will quickly be showing you how to design a staircase using the RCC spreadsheet. If you are able to get to this point, I want to tell you a very big congratulation because we were able to do our design of slab, then we design our beam, uh, then to column then to the foundation then the last one but not the least is the staircase like you know the staircase is an independent structural member so there is no load that is being transferred to the staircase if you can remember from the beginning if you have been following the slab was the first structural member we designed and then we distribute the load to the column then the uh, sorry we distribute the load to the beam then we took that load from that beam, distributed it to the column and then the load from the column was now sent down to the footing and then the footing will take it to the natural ground. Okay, so but in the terms of staircase, there is no load that is distributed because the staircase is an independent structural member. That means it's on its own. There is no load that is being taken to the staircase the staircase is not adding any load to the building the building is not adding any load to the staircase so it is completely entirely independent now if that is correct what we do need to do now is to fill in this information based on what the architect has given us so if you go to the architectural floor plan and then the cross section you'll be able to have all of these informations and you type them in so if we come to our general arrangement, which is this, this staircase, I'm going to take it out here and bring it here for us. So it's the same thing. What we have there is what we have here. So if you take out this part of this staircase, it's going to look like a straight flight. Like a straight flight. So if that is correct. Now, if you check the landing here is 900. The landing at this point where you are starting your flight this part is 2000 and then you move from this way you land here and then you come up here so this is basically how this staircase is like so if we assume just this region just this part to be a straight flight this is going to be 900 this is 2000 and then this one here all we need to do is to count the number of thread that we have here so if you count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now this the spreadsheet actually goes a long way in actually telling you what number of thread is this. All you need to do is to type in the distance from here to here. That is your flight. If you type in those information, it will give you all of this information automatically. So let's jump right into it. So the first one we have here, A is 900, your B is 3600, and then our C, we said is 2000. So if you look at this automatically, if you view this from this side, you will see that the thread is 12. Automatically, it's telling you your thread is 12, which is what we counted there so which is from here to here if you count them it's 12 and then you have the riser here 150 from here to here is 300 which is what we specified here so which is the going same thing as going and then the riser here is actually 150 by the time you put in all of this information the landing a here has what we call a a a waste um this is a waste so each of them is actually 150 in thickness. Uh, what this means is that it is the bottom of this, this bottom where you have these steps. You can see we have a step here, we have a step here, we also have a step here. But at the bottom here, the thickness of this part is what we call the waist. So which is actually 150, we assume it to be 150 so sometimes it may fail and sometimes it may pass so it depends so the design by the time you put in all of those information you will be able to know if it has passed or it has failed 
so you can simply change the information to however you want it don't forget that uh, this uh, this uh, software uh, the informations you need to fill in are the ones in the blue cells okay and then the red messages indicates um, indicates entry error okay or when a particular member has actually failed it will tell you that member has failed by the time you do this design it will tell you the area of your steel you can use your chart to confirm this then it's telling you that we are supposed to use y10 at 300 spacing so we have 26 number for top and bottom distribution so this is basically what this um, spreadsheet is actually uh, asking us to use you can specify the minimum bar you can specify the maximum bar as well the concrete characteristic strength of your concrete characteristic strength of your seal all you need to do is just to type in the information whatever information you type everything actually takes place uh, takes shape everything here automatically uh, will be readjusted so this is actually the closest to the manual design like I said that you can do as far as uh, structural design is consigned but um, I will also encourage you to learn the RCD 2000 it actually goes a bit more deeper than RCC spreadsheet when it comes to design uh, RCD 2000 is so far the most closest to your manual design that you can do and is the best for any beginner that I will always encourage you as a fresh civil engineering graduate or you are still a student about to graduate please do not jump into those very automated softwares uh, because they may most likely not help you in understanding structural designs better okay so if you love what you are seeing make sure that you like this video just give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually 100 free click on the bell icon so as for you to always get a notification whenever i post videos post videos like this on a weekly sometimes even on a daily just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design okay uh like you know we have covered structural design mechanical and electrical service drawing architectural drawings road designs and water designs they are all available in our youtube channel all you need to do is just to go down below the description of this video you'll find the link to that youtube channel visit the channel and actually keep yourself busy okay so make sure that you stay safe and you stay blessed Thank